So how much does it cost to host a website? I think that you're going to be surprised. So in this example, I'm going to be using Hostinger as they offer fantastic web hosting. In fact, if you would like to check them out and follow along, you can click the link in the description and you'll get taken to a page that looks very similar to this. What's best about it is that if you choose to use them, which I do highly recommend, you'll get an extra 20% off. My way of saying thank you for checking out this video. So as you can see here, they start off from $2.99 per month. $3 a month is not a lot when it comes to hosting. And of course, there's going to be some other adjustments when it comes to that, which I will talk about shortly. But allow me to talk about the pricing a little bit more in depth and what you get when it comes to website hosting. So I'm going to make the assumption that say you're more towards the beginner stage of creating a website and you want to get hosting. Something like this ideally would be premium where maybe you just need one or two websites, you don't need a whole lot of traffic, or if you just want to build that one website from the ground up, $2.99 per month is what you're going to be looking at. Keep in mind this is going to be for a 48 month term, now you don't have to go that long if needed, I will also talk about that as well. Say if you were going to get premium here, you would be looking at the ability to create up to 25 websites, you get 25 gigs of storage, and a few other things that are helpful like mailboxes and of course weekly backups. You also do get the hosting or website builder in case you want to go that route, and of course you could always utilize WordPress as well. Now if we're moving up a little and you want a little bit better enhanced features, you'd be looking at business, which if you look at it right here, the difference is only going to be $1 extra per month. With this, you do have the ability to create more website, you get more gigs of storage, more mailboxes, and one of the biggest features here, in my opinion, is going to be the daily backups. So if you feel like you might be the type of person who might break something on your website, this is going to be beneficial because if you do do that, you can get a daily backup from the day before, as opposed to, say, maybe a weekly backup, which is going to be in the first plan. But... Ideally, if you are just getting started, maybe if it's your first or second website, premium would be great for you and you're looking at $2.99 per month. Now, aside from paying around $3 a month, let's talk about how many months you'd wanna pay that for. So let's click on this right here and let's do choose plan. All right, so there are two things you're gonna to wanna to take a look at when it comes to hosting, and a lot of plans are similar, but in my opinion, Hostinger has been the best, not only at hosting, but giving you fantastic pricings. Already, as you can see, there's a massive discount of 75% off, and of course, if you use my link, you can save a little bit more. So, if we look right here, you're gonna see that for 48 months, this is gonna be the price, what it comes out to, $2.39 a month. Keep in mind, this is going to be a 48 month term, and that's the reason why it's a little bit higher because it factors in all of those months. Also, something else to keep in mind is that when it renews after that, it's going to go to $7.99 a month. Now, keep in mind, that is still a fantastic price, even after four years, assuming for the fact that you've been building your website, you're probably going to be doing pretty well with it, especially four years down the road, okay? And even at that renewal fee, there are so many hosting providers that charge triple that, even just getting up and running. And that's for just getting started in the beginning. So all in all, that is a fantastic price. However, if you feel like 48 months is a little too far down the road, there's other options, say like 24 months. So you can see right here, this comes out to $2.39 per month, and it would be renewing at $8.99 per month. Then of course, there's going to be 12 months. And this once again, it comes out to $2.39 a month and renews at $10.99 a month. Then there is gonna be the monthly factor here, which I do not recommend. You don't get any discounts for it and it's gonna be actually the most that you'd have to pay just to click on it very shortly. And as you can see upon clicking on it, it comes out to $12 a month. So that's not something I would recommend. You're just paying so much more and you don't get any of the bonuses or the extras that come along with it. So in the beginning, it's really up to you how much you wanna pay. If you go just with the 12 months route it's only going to be as you can see here $28 there might be a little bit more tax but that is not a lot when it comes to getting up and running and hosting you do have to consider the renewal price that's why I usually tell people if they know they're going to be getting their website for the long run 24 or 48 months is going to be the sweet spot here with 48 months yes you're going to be paying a little bit more up front but the renewal is going to be the smallest amount not only do you get your free domain for a year but you also get those three months free included in the order if you go for the 48 months plan. So all in all, as you can see, if you were looking to get hosting, say for 48 months, you're looking at $2.39 a month. And of course, that's with the massive discount. So how much should you expect to pay for website hosting? This is going to be a fantastic price. In my opinion, you're not going to find it too many other spots elsewhere because a lot of people are charging way more for hosting, especially when you're just getting started. People will charge way more than this just for the initial payment up front. So, so how much does it cost to host a website? It's going to be 
be pretty affordable if you ask me. And if you want to get started with hosting or web hosting, you can click the link down below in the description to do that. Simply follow through the steps that I showcased. Then of course, once you pick a specific web hosting plan, you can go with the period that you want to utilize. From there, you would simply click on the continue button. Here you would create an account, make sure you enter in your primary email as that's how they're going to send you the information for logging in and as well as creating a password. I'm going to do that and click on register. And this here would simply be the final step where you can add it all of your billing address stuff, clicking on continue, and then you have your payments. And you're going to see everything on the right here, depending on the plan that you went through, the amount of months you're going to go through, you know, the three extra months to set up the domain name, domain name privacy, and plenty of the discounts as well. It's very straightforward when it comes to getting up and running. And of course, that's how much you can expect to pay for web hosting. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And don't forget to click the link in the description or the pinned comment to say a ton of money on your website hosting. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.